Well, it's that time again. It's mail time. I'll show you what I got from my fans. Thanks, everyone. Well, Brandon Hoolan from Fort McMurray sent me another flag. Even though he's from Alberta, for some reason he's got one of those Newfie flags from Newfoundland, Canada. So that's up there in the Wall of Fame right beside the Canada flag. And you can read his letter if you want. Just pause. And Jack Dooner from Ireland sent me another flag. This one's from his home country. Sweet. First Irish flag we've got. And Donald Dupkett from Greenfield, Indiana sent me this flag that's beside the Irish one, the VW one. Sweet. I love VWs, I just don't like their transmissions. And Kevin and Kevin Albertson from Teaguard, Oregon, sent me some stickers to my Red Rack Racer, and I would have put them on already. Except, blah, it's raining. So i got to wait for another day, but you'll see them soon enough. Thanks, man. And now it's even raining harder, so we'll get back to the mail. And from Jonas Stum, in some town or country called Grono Lien, I never heard of that before. Sent me a really nice letter, and he definitely loves Volvos and his wishes to come to my farm. And he made me some really good pictures. Well, you can obviously guess what car that is. Sweet. And that one too, very obvious. And again, the Redneck Ricer. Cool. And my poor GTS with the broken transmission. But that's at the back of the farm and I'm not going to drive through all that mud to go see it at the moment. So thanks man, you're an awesome artist. Or should I say, cardist, as you draw pictures of cars. Soon to be also on my wall of fame. Sam Barubi from Ottawa sent me two really nice letters and some art too. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. And what he'd like the Chevy Act to look like, I guess. <laughs> he never thought of a rear motor, did he? And his version of my redneck roller coaster, complete with fuel for the driver, anyways. JR, our favorite. And it's damn good work for a kid that's almost 13. Thanks, man. I've also got an official real to life goodness RCMP beer mug from one of the couple of the fans that came by a couple weeks ago they call themselves Twins Tech from Ottawa two 15 year olds who just love cars and they learned how to fix small engines for me and now they're doing that on their own and making money that's great to hear and another letter and some gifts from a guy who calls himself Lethal Threat from Pifford New York he wants to know if I still have the 400 GMC truck. No, that thing sucked and I gave it back to the guy when he bought a farm himself and he wanted to convert it back to a plow truck. Glad to get rid of it. It was too slow. And if you want to come out, it's on weekends. That's when we're having all the fun, especially Saturdays. So I got a beer coolie thing, which I'm using right now. A keychain. An emblem he wants me to put on my awesome cart. which I will in a moment and some sort of little welding creation that looks like a motorcycle wants me attached to the Chevy Act so I'll do that too and from Rick Camp and Mark Doty from Clinton Missouri I've got this stuff to put up in my shop some fridge magnets nice letter some American stuff something for my cars and a huge Missouri flag which I'll put up in a moment Well, there's your fridge magnets on my beer fridge and that little flag. And I got my redneck ricer key on your tag. And Missouri plate on my famous car, along with the sticker you asked for. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And there's your Missouri flag up on the wall with the rest of them. Cool. Sure are getting a lot of them now.
Well, Kevin, it stopped raining, so I finally got a chance to put those stickers on. Sweet. We've also, ah, damn it, it's raining again already. We've also got these little blue, whatever you call, lights that the ricers put on. Hey, why'd those stop working? Accent lights, or whatever you call them. Cool. And because this is one of my skunk works project, they even got a skunk tail on it now. And everyone's pictures are now up on the wall of fame. Thanks guys for the mail. Gotta go back home now. It's Sunday evening. Time to watch Simpsons and Family Guy and American Dad and all those cool shows. Hope you watch them too.